everyone welcome to my channel uh, so I'm gonna be making a what's in my tanning bag video today uh, and I hope you guys like it I emptied my whole tanning bag this morning and I'm gonna be going through everything and kind of explaining everything a little bit I have a few notes so I don't forget anything and so let's get into the video so first things first we have to have eyewear and um, I take this everywhere with me, but basically this is more so for like a stand up because uh, it has a strap on it and my hair gets crazy every time. So that being said, I always take a hairbrush in my tanning bag. Uh, they do sell some without the nose piece right here and without the strap. You can just lay down just in case you, you want to lay down and you don't want to stand up. So I always keep that in my tanning bag. It's very important. Okay, so the lotion that I recently bought is Australian Gold Feeling Beachy, and I really like this. It's an ultra dark bronzer, glow bronzer, um, and it has a watermelon scent, and I've had really good results with this the past week, <laughs> but I haven't been tanning that much because it is December. Uh, a lot of people start tanning around February, March when it's going to start getting warmer outside, so I've only been tanning about twice a week, but I do like this, and I have heard great things, so that's why I bought it. I really really like this one it is it does have like a brown color to it if I can yeah so it's gonna give you that instant dark glow and I will put this on before I get in the tanning bag so another lotion that I really like is pink craze by Swedish Beauty this is gonna also gonna be on the affordable end along with the feeling beachy you can get it for about 25 to 30 dollars depending on where you go um it's a dark bronzer it has like it's uh it's like a vegan formula, so that's good, and it has like a caramel in it, so that it gives you that instant glow, and I definitely noticed that. It's super, super lightweight on the skin. Let me get some out here. Um, it is like a brownish color. I don't know if you can tell, but it is not as dark as, oh yeah, super lightweight, but it's not as dark as that Feeling Beachy. That is a lotion that I will put on before I lay in the tanning bed or stand in the tanning bed, um, so yeah. So this is obvious. Uh, it has black walnut in it and DHA, and it's gonna give you that. That's gonna give you that instant bronze look, and I really like it because it's like a berry blend. It says jelly berry blend, and it's very hydrating and gives me a cool feeling on the skin. But um, it's like a jelly, so it's it's like a jellyish lotion. So if you like something super lightweight, you don't like those thick lotions, this is a really good one. I really, really like this one. I'll use this one to actually mix because I love to mix lotion. So I'll actually like mix it with because this one's a little bit more expensive. But um, I'll mix it with these and it's just right. And on to the next thing. So a lot of us will notice that our legs are harder to tan. And that's because the skin is naturally dry on your legs, um, drier than the rest of your body. So they're going to be harder to tan. Uh, and shaving and things like that don't help. So I bought this. It's Australian Gold. And it's called Dark Legs. And I really like this. Um, it's basically just giving you extra moisture and more bronzer to make your legs um, darker. And it does work. I really like it. I bought a few packets before I actually purchased it just to see if I liked it. And I do. Um, so I'll put all these lotions on my entire body. And then I'll put this only on my legs. So I really, really like it definitely a good investment if you're trying to get dark you don't want to be um, darker in different places and if you're going to be darker anywhere you want it to be your legs more than likely so this is a really good product to invest in so sometimes I like to self tan uh, when I'm just like trying to get out of the house real quick or I have an event coming up and I don't feel dark enough and I don't have enough days until then so I'll self tan and so I have these this one's for the face and this one's for the body and those are, um, that's, that's so sun makeup. And I really like it. This is Golden Beauty Anti-Age. And they work really well. Sometimes I get orangier, um, with sunless products. But that is just my skin type with these for sure. Sometimes it is the product, but more than likely it's just your skin type. It's not the product itself. So it's just something you have to deal with. In that case, I get like a pack of this, which this is also a lotion that you can use, uh, before you get in the tanning bed. It doesn't really matter but it has a blue hue to it and so it's going to basically fight off 
or offset any of those orange tones. And I really like this. It's called, oh, by the way, it's called Color Crush by Australian Gold. I keep, this is kind of more of a, when I was a rookie tanner, but I do still keep these and use them when I run out of other stuff. Uh, I'll put a dot of this Jerrigan's Tanning Low, or Natural Glow. I'll put just a little dot on my hand and then rub it in and put it on my face just so I don't look super pale or if I feel like the rest of my body is tanning really well and my face just looks white. I also have the mousse and sometimes I felt like that was really streaky so I just invested in this which is basically just a mat that you put on, not a mat, but a um, self tan applicator mitt and it's super soft and you basically just put the product on there and you rub it on your skin and it helps so you don't get any streaks or anything like that when you're self tanning. Um, I also just got this, which is super amazing, you can't really see it, but it says Instant Bronzing Mousse by California Tan Sunless, and I'm super excited to use it, haven't used it yet, but yeah, I might do a review on that. So a lot of times I'll buy packets and stuff like that, um, so I can test out a lotion before I go buying the bottle. So I have these two, and I really like them. But I just bought that bottle, so I bought these. Um, this is Nothing But Black by Australian Gold. And this is Australian Gold Hot Black. It's not a hot lotion. It's not hot on the skin. It's just the advertisement. But I really, really like these ones. They're both black bronzers. And, um, yeah, they make you really, really dark. And I love them. And these are also going to go on before you go in the tanning bed. I mean, you can use them indoor or outdoor. But, yeah, that's how. And I do like to keep a tingle lotion, a tingle packet around. So this is Be Bold by Swedish Beauty. Goodness gracious. But um, I really like this. I've used this one before. I, If you have used tingles before and you had a bad experience, don't necessarily rule them out if you do like the tingle feeling. A lot of people say they get burnt, but I feel like that's just the tingle uh, feeling after you tan and you're obviously going to be red. It says that usually on the packets I think but anyway so I'll use uh, tingles in the beds with like air conditioning and misters that's when I'll use my tingles and I really like the way that the tan that tingles do give me I like how it brings out my freckles so I always keep one of those around um, I always keep like deodorants some people and sometimes I do keep baby wipes in my bag just in case I'm um, gonna have little stickers that I always forget to use but you can, I always use a, um, keep a hairbrush, and I just seen on another girl's video that she actually uses heat protectant, which is really good because tanning can dry out your hair, uh, you will notice that if you're not using anything, a lot of people will use a cap laying in the bed as well, so those are things to definitely keep in mind if you plan on tanning indoors. It is very important to be using a tan extender, um, for, so that your tan can last longer, so I use Hemp Nation. Right now I have the sea salt and sandalwood one. I just bought my boyfriend the agave and lime. I love the smell of both of them. Um, so in order for your tan to, to get tan, your skin has to be moisturized. Um, so to keep your tan, you also want to keep your skin moisturized. And so this is what I use, and I'll put it on immediately after I get out of the tanning bed. I also use it after I get out of the shower. But it's definitely going to make your tan last longer. Um, it has... A hydrating complex um, with hemp seed oil and it has age-defying uh, age blend in it lots of vitamins so yeah this is definitely um, a must-have when you are tanning you definitely want to be putting something on when you get out of the tanning bed because the tanning bed is drying your skin so you definitely want to moisturize when you get out and I love hemp nation and so yeah and that is all for today's video. I hope I answered some of you guys' questions. I hope you liked the video. Um, like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or any ideas for any videos that I should make in the future. Bye, guys.